Hi everyone, wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom and Vorach. Mark Twain asked about the Jewish people, what is the secret to their immortality? And I believe, my friends, the answer finds itself in this week's parasha, Vayishlach. Yaakov Avinu was heading back home to the land of Israel with his entire family and all of his possessions. And at one point, as they're crossing over the river, he's all by himself. The pasuk says, Vayivater Yaakov Levado. And all of a sudden, a man comes and starts fighting with Yaakov all night long. Till dawn, Adalot Ashahar. And at dawn, this man says, all right, time for me to go. And Yaakov Avinu, you would think, would say, all right, get out of here. And Yaakov says, no, 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 no. Lo ashalechacha ki im berachtani. I'm not going to let you go until you give me a blessing. And I don't know if you were ever uh, robbed or mugged, or if you ever had someone trying to fight you. But the moment they are ready to leave, we are more than happy. Please go away. I don't want to ever see you again. And Yaakov, instead of just getting rid of this man, he says, no, 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 you come back here. I'm not letting you go. Give me a blessing first. Why does Yaakov want a blessing from this man? And I believe Yaakov Avinu is teaching us over here a very powerful lesson, and that is that in life when we experience challenges, enemies, crisis, when there are people that are trying to pull us down, the Jew has to ask himself, what am I going to take from this experience? What bracha? How can I walk out of here? Not the same, not unharmed. The goal is not to survive. The goal is to walk away thriving better than I was before, to be able to look at the enemy in the face and to say, now you're going to bless me. Now you're going to regret that you started up with me because the Jew understands that every crisis ultimately comes, every challenge is really from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And if God is sending this to me, there is a key, there is something here that I need that can help me for the rest of my life. I can be better because of this experience. Throughout history, the Jew has had this ability to take the biggest klala and to squeeze bracha out of it, to figure out what is it in here that I could find that can make me better, stronger. As an example, the first Betah Mikdash was destroyed. They tried destroying our Mikdash. And Yechezkel says, yeah, you want to destroy our Betah Mikdash? You want to destroy our house of worship? And he instituted a Mikdash Me'at, a small temple, a synagogue. He says, you want to, you want to stop us from praying? We're going to have synagogues in every city, on every corner. Jews are going to go around and they're going to pray wherever they are. The second Beit HaMikdash was destroyed. You want to stop our study of Torah? We wrote the Talmud. There'll be more Torah now than there was before. Thanks to you. Thanks to the enemy. There will actually be a bracha. Sarah Schneerer, she started the Beis Yaakov movement, the study of Torah for girls, which was never done until then. And she got a lot of slack, a lot of heat. She had endorsements from great rabbis, but she got a lot of heat for it. And one time, the story is told, she was sitting, Rabbi Jacobson says over the story, she was sitting in a circle with the, with the first class and they were learning Torah. She was teaching them things, something that girls never did until then. And she was teaching them and all of a sudden, this hothead, this kanai outside, throws a rock right through the window and it lands into the circle of where the girls were sitting. And Sarah Shneer smiled. She picks up the rock Jesus says, well, I guess, girls, this will be the cornerstone of our second building. To be able to take an enemy, and to be able to say, Berachtani, this is actually going to fuel me to do better, to become stronger. Remember, my friends, in adversity, some people break and others break records. Shabbat Shalom.